I bet you're curious what this video is all about. So it is the Christmas holidays, so you have to do more than one video. Anyway, um, what I have here is a Lancaster uh, pocket watch. It's a Hamilton Lancaster, uh, 17, I believe 17 jewels. Yeah, 17 jewels. Um, it is in really good condition. Uh, I've got, uh, let me grab my bench key to point things out here. So I was measuring, I wound it up and I was measuring the amplitude here. And it's amazing. So I know the amplitude is a complete swing divided by two. So in case, because I got, someone told me that earlier. So anyway, I was measuring the amplitude and it's amazing. It's a very good amplitude. And then I was uh, thinking, okay, this I think is one of the watches I haven't cleaned yet. So let me have a look in the old good old stereo microscope. So I'm going to look at the uh, center wheel here and look at where the where the uh, pivot comes through the the jewel and see if I can zoom in on stuff there and uh, see what it looks like. So up in the upper right hand corner, that's a uh, that is a zoom for the I think that's I'm not sure what jewel that is. Let me have a look here. That's not that's not the center one. So. I move this over a bit. I think that's the center jewel. Now, if you look at that really closely, when I zoom in here, it's going to white things out. So let me zoom in a bit and see if I can. What I do is I zoom in, and then I have to turn up the uh, turn up the lighting on that, and then have to move this out a bit. It's going to take a little bit of shifting to get this centered, but if you can just look at that, that's the uh, that's the crud that's in that jewel. So you would never see that if you were just basically um, looking at the jewel, maybe with your eye or something, saying, yeah, this, this watch is working really well. There's no issue at all. So you can see, let me see if I can point at some things here. Right? Pointing, pointing. Yeah, look at that. See, in the center, that's the uh, pivot coming coming through the jewel hole. And all that yellow crud around the outside is actually dried up oil. So this watch obviously hasn't been serviced in a long time. Um, I'm going to zoom out again a bit, just so I can, so I don't get all confused with. Let me just focus in again. Uh, I think that's focused enough right there. <clears throat> there, you can see the yellow crud in that jewel hole. So that's, that's the uh, number two wheel or the center wheel. Now if I scoot over, see if I can look at the next one here. If I scoot over along the train and to the next wheel, that's it there. Uh, uh, it's going to be tricky to line up. Everything is backwards. So, <coughs> excuse me, that's the, uh, the third wheel. And that's the uh, pivot coming through the third wheel. So you can see that's also dried up and gunked up. So it's actually amazing that we're getting power from the uh, the train all the way through to the uh, to the escapement with this. So let's just keep moving over here. See if I can find another jewel. And there it is there. So apologize for my coughing. It's just I got a cold. So you're not going to get the cold through YouTube. <coughs> I promise. So that's the, uh, that is the fourth, I think, or the seconds wheel. I believe that's the seconds wheel. Let me just point at it with my little stick here and, and see if it shows itself. Yeah, it does. So that is the seconds wheel there. You can actually see it turning if you look really closely. And I'll just see if there's any, if I can get any more accurate with this. Uh, I think that's pretty darn good. And you can see that turning. And I'm going to zoom right in here a bit and show you. So there we go. And then just pull that back a bit. And there's the pivot. There's the pivot turning. And what you're seeing on the other side of that jewel, on the other side you see some movement too. And that's the, that's the pinion going around. So that's the jewel there. That's the... Um, there's the uh, pivot in the center, and that's the pinion going around on the outside. So, so that's uh, that's the second jewel. It's also dirty, and I'm going to move over now to let me go back again, <clears throat> back it up a bit, and move over to 
zoom in and move over to the escapement. See if I can find that. It's tricky. So I got a camera in one of the lenses and I have my eyeball in the other one. So there is the escapement taken away. And and if I turn up the light here a bit, uh, I'm going to wash the rest of it out a bit, but I don't care. So I'll turn the light up and then zoom in on this and then have a look at what this looks like from a crud position perspective and I may have to move that down and over I'm getting good at doing everything opposite when you're moving stuff all right there it is there that that's the escapement that's about as good as I'm gonna get it that is the escapement and it looks pretty filthy right and there we go so that's the escapement and it's looking pretty filthy as well the jewel looks terrible on that um, so it obviously needs cleaning, and then the last thing we're going to do is find. Going to go, going to go hunting for. Oh, I can even get closer if I want. That's way too close, I think. Way too close. Uh, this is if you're interested in what it looks like up close, eh? So that's that's it there. We just settle this down a bit, and there we go. So that is pretty freaking close. Through. It's the resolution I'm using on the camera that I have in the eyepiece. If it was a higher resolution, it would look clearer. But through the lens here, it looks super clear. So, so let me back this off again, and let me go find the the uh, upper jewel of the uh, of the balance, and it would be right around there. And I think I get this zoomed in considerably. <clears throat> there's the upper jewel of the balance and you can see some white in the center and that white in the center is no doubt where that balance staff has been rubbing against the uh, the upper jewel here so this has been rubbing against the upper jewel and right up there that's white that white right there so when I clean that up that shouldn't show anymore I'm hoping that isn't um, wear on the upper jewel because if it is wear on the upper jewel then I've got to replace that jewel and I don't want to do that but I would if I if it's wear so let me just zoom in see if I can get super close here and okay, back it out a bit and there we go that's what it looks like that's super close and then I gotta push this watch the opposite direction to get it to settle. Can I get that in the center? That's not too bad. So there it is there. Um, so I'm now pointing at the upper jewel. So if I were looking at the watch itself, I'm pointing right here at the upper jewel and having a look at what that looks like um, <coughs> through the lens. So that's uh, magnified considerably. I'll be back it off again. I'll back it way back and then zoom in a bit and I should turn the light down a bit there it is there so that's that and if I back the light off a bit and it's like this the cameras kind of compensate for it so that's kind of cool so that's um, that's using a stereo microscope with a uh, camera in one lens and I'm actually looking through the other lens to target the uh, what I'm looking at um, and seeing what it looks like and just just for uh, poopies and giggles, as they say. Let's look. Let's look at one of the uh, the, the threads on the uh, regulating arm here. So there's <clears throat> there's the regulating arm. That you twist, you turn that to regulate the watch. And if I zoom in on that, what do I get? Well, I can look underneath too. There's some screws if I want. But let me just turn that up a bit and then zoom in. And then I've got to uh, do this, and there's that there's that uh, screw going in. There's the threads on the screw. You can actually see the top of the threads on the screw, so that's pretty cool. So that gives you an idea how how much you can zoom in on this thing. I think you can even go further if you want. There's a bit further, and see if I can correct that. Yeah. And like I said, when you're looking through the actual lens here, it's super clear, right? So I don't have to uh, do that.
too much adjustment to get it super clear. But that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so that's the threads on the uh, regulating arm. So if I point it, I should put my glasses on here so I can see it myself. So, yeah, there's, I'm basically looking at that right there, that bolt right there. As you can see, my, my little pointer there is in both scenes, right? So, and if you're to look at teeth, for example, to see if there is a problem with the tooth, um, and I move this over. So again, go back on the uh, stereo camera, uh, or stereo uh, microscope, zoom or, or focus it a bit, and then I eyeball in the ins on the other lens, kind of eyeball it to see where the tooth might be. There's some teeth there, and then I can zoom in on these teeth and have a look at what they look like. And here we go. This is the tooth zoom. This is so exciting, I know. And there you go. So you can also see dirt on the peak of that tooth on the left hand side. So there's my big finger. So you can see dirt. So I'm pointing at one of the edge, the teeth on the edge here. So and you can see it moving. See it's moving out of the picture. Because <laughs> it's the center wheel, obviously. So um, anyway, that's kind of cool. And you can see if there's any imperfections in the teeth. So it actually looks like there is. It looks like the tooth coming up in the right, it looks like it's got a slight imperfection on that tooth. Now it might not cause a problem with the watch because the the uh, the pinion that goes, the, the leaf of the pinion going into that gap in the tooth of, of the center wheel uh, will fit in uh, nicely and it probably won't cause any issues. But there's the... Uh, the tooth in there, so that's a close-up of that, and uh, <coughs> I think um, I think that's about as interesting as it's going to get. So I think I can zoom in to the bottom of one of these things too. So one more to see if I can see the bottom. Um, so I'm zooming out, and if I focus here like that, you can see all the teeth there, and they're moving by slowly. And if I try to get the wheel, the seconds, I think this is the seconds wheel, yeah, down there in the middle. I can zoom in on that as it's turning. Um, and there we go. So now I can see underneath uh, by just, I'm just focusing on the bottom uh, wheel as well. And the balance is just flinging by right there. And maybe I can get the pallet fork in here going back and forth. Can I get that pallet fork? Well, there's the yeah, there's the pallet fork working, I believe. Yeah, and there's the uh, yeah, there it is there in the middle. So, and also the the dirt, there's dirt on the right, there we go. That's the pallet fork catching and releasing the escapement. Uh, I think that's focused into that right now. So you can see that. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> so as the um, as the center wheel, I think that's right below the center wheel too. So as the center wheel goes by, you can see that, right? So there it is. There, so that's the uh, pallet fork and the jewel for the pallet fork catching and releasing the escapement. So that's a pretty neat shot. So on the inside of the watch. So anyway, the uh, summary here is that the uh, watch needs cleaning. It's got a pretty cool amplitude it, it's swinging about 400 degrees so it's got a 200 degree amplitude which is pretty pretty good um, and um, there's a lot of dirt on it so it's working well even though there's dirt on it uh, it's an adjusted movement uh, and it is let me see what it says here I fling this thing around and have a look let me see I unzoomed everything, right? <clears throat> it is a Lancaster 978 double roller uh, adjusted to three positions. So that's what it says. Anyway, that's what do we got here? Something else moving? Yeah, underneath. And you can track that. I don't know what wheel that is, but there's another wheel underneath that moving. So <clears throat> I think that's the center wheel. And that's a pretty cool shot of all the gears there and I can focus on any one of them here 
This is great because if you've got a, a watch and it's not working and there's a chunk of dirt or you've cleaned it and you've missed something, you can check it out and see if there's any inconsistencies in the uh, in the teeth or anything like that for the material. So anyway, that's the video for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I hope you enjoy my videos.